This is a video about how Ambient involved the people we support in the interview and recruitment process. We spoke to people we support, care staff and corporate staff about their first-hand experiences. Why is it important that the people we support are involved in interviewing staff? We want the white person in it, the job. Yeah, we do. Because sometimes you put people in the job, you don't even know who it is. No, it's completely strangers for us. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and you don't know who they are, you've got to realise who they are. At the end of the day, we're the people that it affects the most, especially when it comes to the support workers. These are the people that are going to be working with us. We need to have our say in who gets the job. So we're going to be looking after them all the time, so they need to have yeah. some involvement and choice, definitely. Yeah, it gives them a feel on the person, doesn't it? I think it just shows that they're very inclusive. Obviously, it's all about the, the people that we support. Without being interviewed, talking to those individuals, without getting their views and, and feedback, then you're never going to kind of get that magic formula in terms of what's right to support them, because what I think is right may not be the right thing, so it's all about what they want, really. It's got to be someone that I would be comfortable working with. Staff are looking at it from sort of a business point of view. We look at it, how they're going to be at supporting people, what qualities do they have. The organisation take people very seriously. They wanted them to have a part in selecting someone who's going to be a senior leader in their organisation. That made me feel um, very positive about the organisation as a whole. So I think it's a fantastic idea. It's a yeah, good, it's a good way of meeting so meeting the people that you're potentially going to be looking after. You get obviously. a feel of what they like as well. Yeah, they? yeah, what they yeah, want. definitely. How does the interview process usually work? There'd be the people we support panel and there'd be the staff panel. Staff would interview, then we'll interview and then we all meet up at the end. We go through our findings and the questions, how we felt about the person and the panel sit there and they listen to what we've got to say. They take it on board. I know one occasion they had slightly different views than us, but once we'd gone through the reasons why we felt that way, they come more over to our line of thinking. We always work in a group. We work perfect when yeah. all of us work together. And we just sit and chat and find out that's the person we want and that's the person we need. Ask a question with, with staff, with suicide. Why do you drive the car? Well, what jobs? But I choose to say we good hell. I'd gone through a couple of stages with the recruitment agency, and then a couple of interviews with Colin Mark and the, the senior executive team, and then the final one was the the guardians. And I was probably most nervous about that, to be honest. And and it started off with the guardians kind of asking me questions that they had some input into. But it, it felt like I wanted it to be more natural. It was all around technology and how the Guardians were going to use technology in the future. And it, it became a really good conversation in the end, actually. It became less of an interview and more of a, an inclusive conversation about how they currently use technology and actually how my role could then improve how they use technology. I prefer doing it as the whole because then you get to hear everything they have to say through the whole interview. But I see the benefits of doing just an involvement panel because it's more focused and they are more likely to talk to the resident doing it rather than the staff. So I was interviewed by staff team first. Then I went into a separate panel, which was two people that we support, one of whom is now an ambient guardian. So that's great. They asked me questions about my CV. They've obviously done a lot of preparation. I guess it gives you that sort of like easy feeling as well, isn't it? You know, yeah, like you, yeah. you're sat talking and being asked questions, you know, by the people that you're going to be looking after. I guess for you personally being interviewed, it does take the edge off. It's good for everyone all round, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Sit down in the room and then we done some questions. What you've done in the past, what you want to do in the future. It's been in the table waiting and I got to talk to each of them then before I went into my interview and then I went into my interview and Darren came in and he asked me a few questions. He asked me if I could cook, <laughs> if I could make you some of his favourite foods, Yeah, yeah. Um, if I could drive, which I don't drive, right. but I don't think he minded because he still said yes. <laughs> now I interview with people, they were part of my interview panel. I've interviewed with a couple of the Guardians before and had a really good experience, they really contributed a lot. What do you look for when you interview staff? Are they kind? Are they work hard? Are they treat you well? 
for me it's important that they will keep the residents safe whether that's in terms of safeguarding health and safety and that they are willing to listen to the residents and take on board what they say. Basically, I'll help you. Make you laugh. I don't care. It will help you. Talk to you. I mean, if you're not honest, you're not fit to do the job. It was a major part of the decision making process. So, you know, having spoken to our CEO, Mark Milton, afterwards, he was really keen to point out that that played a major part in who got selected for the role. It wasn't just there as a We'll just, we'll just have the people we support there. It was a big part of the selection process, which was really nice to hear as well. You can normally tell from the questions how they interact. They're actually talking to us, not talking to the person supporting us. Actually talking directly to us. Where they are with us, you can pick it up quite quickly. What advice would you give to someone who wants to take part in interviews? My biggest thing would be if there is something you need to be able to participate, don't be afraid to tell someone. Don't let things like that stop you from being involved. It's about saying, I want to be involved, but I need you to do this for me, for me to be able to participate. I started off doing chairman the house meetings and doing bits in the project and then i started doing the odd interview in bromley and it just gradually built up to i was doing more and more stuff just be honest what you want to say or if you want more time i was a bit shy when i've done my first interview once i get to know people i'm okay kirk kirk a bit like that sometimes when he's a bit shy yeah he does you're, oh, you're, okay. you're shy yeah, you're, well. the first time we start this job yeah. I know a lot of people you say. Yes, I've helped me to do it. Yeah. I've yeah, got, so. got to get the job, you know. Talk to whoever that is. Or get someone to help me to read what, they, what they've what done or what they want to do. There's always a member of staff with you. There's always support there if you need it. A lot of the people like me on the panel will have experience. They can always come to us. They can ask us anything. Yeah, with a team. We could get someone to sit with you to do the reading with you. I had the same problem when I used to start in the job. I had someone sit with me. The Ambient Guardians help to create interview training for people we support. Can you tell us more about it? Just give some bit of insight on what to expect on the day, how it feels to ask the questions. And it's always a good idea to have some practical activities in training, because if it's all just theory, you won't get the training across as well. So we kind of go through the interview process, what a day could look like, what would be like good pointers for preparing. It just goes through anything that they would need to feel more confident with doing interviews. How do you think we could improve the interview process? We used to do the old lot straight after another, and sometimes it confused in every single one of them. And sometimes we don't even know what we try we don't first. <laughs> it is too much for me and Kirk. Yeah, I do. But if it's sort of like face to face, I can see the person hanging and that kind of stuff. But online, they're not quite good enough, is it? It's normally structured and quite easy for us to get involved and do it. It would be better if we weren't doing it on Teams and doing more face-to-face interviews. Actually in the room with someone, you can pick up how approachable they are. You can pick up on things a bit more in person. That is the times we are in. From Teams though, we used to do it by face-to-face, the interviewing. Face-to-face more yeah, better than on Twitter. Yeah, it is. Because we, we get to know the person, not on a Twitter. Yeah, What's your favourite thing about interviewing staff? It's nice to know that we're listened to and our opinions do matter. After going all through that process, it's just nice to know what the final decision was and who actually got it. That's feel good when they're doing well. You see them doing their job and you see you made a good choice. It does make you feel good. Do you feel if they've got the job or not? Really happy, make us happy. We don't know what thing. Really nice to get to know them. Yeah, well, I'm a bit shy and timid once I meet new staff. It's no problem for me. No, no. <laughs> oh, Richard. 